So if you're low on time, but you really want to get organized, stay on top of your goals, and also incorporate just a little bit of gratefulness every single day, then the six minute success planner could be perfect for you. Let's talk about it. So I actually got this planner last Christmas. So it has been sitting in a drawer in my house for a year. And since I brought it out and found it again, it has actually just kind of changed the game for me a little bit. I feel like I found everything I need in one planner, everything I've been looking for in one planner in this guy. And I can't believe I hadn't used it at all. So the six minute success planner is A5 in size and its goal is really just to help get you motivated towards your goals in an easy and quick way. And it kind of goes from like a high level and then it kind of works its way down to get you the things that you need to do on a daily basis to actually reach those goals. I'm going to talk about all of that in a second. The planner is undated so you can start at any time of the year. It doesn't matter. You don't have to wait until the start or the end of the year. You can just pick it up and get going with it. And currently this journal retails for just under £20 on Amazon and they have it in four different colours. This is the pinky one. I think there's like a green and blue and something else. So as far as the contents, like I said, this journal is really about kind of layering down so starting top level and kind of working down to the details of what you need to be doing every single day so at the start of this journal there's a ton of information it's really just supposed to help you get started and give you a bit of information you can read it if you want to personally I kind of skimmed through it I didn't even really read it all now getting down to the meat and potatoes of it the first thing is values so this journal really gets you to think about what values are most important to you and then helps you sort of figure out how to live through those values which I think is amazing because obviously values underpin pretty much everything we do in life so I think it's really good that they are actually incorporated in this journal. So the first spread gets you to define your vision of your future self, gets you to look at a different uh, range of categories so things like family and friends, your mindset, look at what you look like in the future, what does the best version of you look like and it gets you just to write out a few things in relation to each of those. And after you've done that then you're going to pick out five values that are most important to you. So so they have a whole list in there or you can add your own but you just look at it and just figure out which five resonate with you the most which five do you either live through your life currently or really want to live through your life more and then you take those five values and you create a hierarchy of what's most important to least important by drawing like lines between each of the two and ranking which is most important after this the journal prompts you to choose two values that you feel like you want to work on the most which two do you want to invest the most time in while you use this journal and then it prompts you to pick out why it's important to you, how it's reflected in your actions and what you sort of need to stop and start doing in order to live better through this value. Next you're going to pick out one value that you want to focus on over the next 66 days and as you can already see we're starting to just like work our way down into the levels of detail and that's why I love this journal so far is that you kind of get to start at this very high level and then pick one thing and move on, pick one thing and move on and kind of go like that which I like and for the value that you pick out you're going to choose some goals related to this value as well as some daily habits that you can implement in order to actually reach that goal okay now on to the really good stuff starting with the monthly reflection so each month you're going to rank your satisfaction across a number of areas in your life such as productivity and mindfulness and the idea being that hopefully with implementing the daily habits and using this journal that will increase as time goes on now there's one of these sections at the start of every month so you can can either fill it out for the previous month at the start of the next month or you can go back to that page at the end of the month to fill it out if that makes sense. You also have a full month overview where you can write in any appointments, birthdays, anything important coming up in the month. Okay the weekly overview. Firstly there's this little calendar which just allows you to write in the dates of the week ahead and also any appointments. You can copy those over from your monthly overview and again like I said it's all undated so you can start at any time. If you're going on holidays you could take a week off from this and it would be fine. You could come back to it and not feel like there's all these blank pages in your journal and then there's a little space for just like some notes and ideas for the week. Next is a little habit tracking section and this just allows you to track if you've done something every single day of the week. You can switch these up each week if you want to and basically you just mark in every day that you have done a habit. Next you're going to set two focuses for the week and write in some specific to do's related to those focuses that you can then move over in through the days as you go through the journal. And there's a self-reflection at the end of the week as well so that you can see kind of how well you lived up to your values and write in any successes and reflections for the week. Okay, the daily view, and this is 
chef's kiss in my opinion. This page just gives me everything I need without being over detailed, without giving too much information. So the setup of the days is at the top, you've got Monday to Sunday, you highlight or circle the day that you're working with, and then you write in the date beside that. Next, they have a small gratitude section where you're able to write something that you're grateful for. So this is how it incorporates the gratefulness and mindfulness aspect, which I really, really like, along with a something you're looking forward to. And again, I feel like this just gets me to be positive. It just gives that little like positivity at the start of the day. Next, you're gonna write your key focus for the day. And this is basically a, if I get this done today, I will have won the day, I will have had a great day. Even if I get nothing else done, I've got my main thing done. And then next is the to-do list. So this is where you could just write in a couple of key to-dos other than that one main thing. And these are the cherries on top. So these are the, if I can get this done, I'll be really, really happy. So below that then you just have your main kind of couple of to-dos for the day. So you can split that main focus up into a couple of to-dos and put those there, or these can be additional things that you really, really want to get done in the day. And underneath that you have cherries on top. So these are things that you may not necessarily 100% get to do but if you get to do them amazing great that's something else ticked off there is a little tick box that reminds you to fill out your habit tracker so to go back to that weekly overview and tick off if you've done your habits for the day and then there's a little to relax list so this is just a couple of things that it wants you to write down that you're going to do for yourself there's an appointment and note section on the right where you can write in any small details of the day appointments or extra to do's and then at the bottom there's a thoughts ideas and wins section which again is good for just jotting down little notes and things but also at the end of the day kind of reflecting on anything that went really really well the planner continues in this structure the whole time there's another values and goals section after the first 66 days and so on and so forth to get you to re-examine if you want to still focus on that value or go to something else and then finally at the very back of this journal is just some dotted notes pages so if you just have any extra notes bits and pieces that you need to write in you can do it overall i absolutely love this planner i just feel like it gives me everything i need i love that hierarchical structure it just works really really well for me let me know in the comment section what you guys think if you've ever tried this or if you want to i will link it in the description box down below in case anyone wants to pick one up for themselves i really 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 hope you guys find this helpful and i will see you all in the next one